which you know you can dunk into the chili or dunk it in the tomato soup. They're super easy. Kids love quesadillas. So all right, sip a coffee, and I'm going to show you how to put them together. They're just adorable. Okay, got our chili simmering on the stove. Looks fabulous. So we're going to start out with if you can find these some red, orange, or green tortillas. And the kids will eat these because they're just really mild flavors. They're not real strong, and they look like, we're going to make them look like jack-o'-lanterns. If you can't find these, ordinary flour tortillas are going to work just fine for you, too. Okay, so I'm going to use my scissors, and I've got a stack of two here. And I know Deb did this so much better than me, but we're going to try it, try it. And we're basically going to kind of cut off the edges and make it look like a pumpkin. Okay, so it's just not all perfect, just those little scraps. And now we're going to mix them to our pumpkin. Okay. We've got the two tortillas right on top of each other. And these are such a quick fix. What you can do is get these all cut out and we use just some wet paper towels to put over the tortillas so they don't get dry. So, okay, I know, I know, Deb's going, your pumpkin isn't near as good as mine. Well, I'm not an artist, I'm just a, a cook. Okay, so now we've got basically two tortillas. We're gonna leave one just as is, and then the other one, we're gonna cut some jack-o'-lantern eyes. And you know, you can have as much fun with this as you want. I. We keep our pumpkins pretty simple in our house. So we'll just do some triangles. I'll check on them, guys. We got some in the oven, so I just want to check on our little guys. Oh, they're perfect. Okay. Woohoo, Tweety says. Oh, goodness, guys. Okay, so now we're going to make the little mouth. We're going to make happy pumpkins because we're happy today. You guys are cut off. No more coffee. That's all I gotta say. Okay. So we're gonna make some little teeth. I'm gonna give mine a couple of teeth. How's the chili looking over there, Tweety? Good. Okay, good. Tweety talks. Cool. Okay, so you get the idea. Basically, we have one tortilla pumpkin with no cutouts and then one with and they're going to go on top of each other okay let me melt some butter into my skillet my kids are always so well riley not so much anymore um but ireland is just so into halloween and they're just raring to go trick-or-treating you know the minute the trick-or-treat time starts and they just want to run out the door and it you know, trick or treat lasts a couple of hours, and I find if I don't get something in their stomach, I'm a really, I like, I tell them not to. I don't know if they do, but I tell them no eating that candy until you get, we get home and we can kind of go through the bag, and hopefully they stick with that. Um, but, you know, if I can get them a little bit of something in their stomach before they go and a little bit when they come home before they start, they do the big candy trade. Did anybody do that growing up? Yeah, the candy swap. Like, I'll give you, you know, my uh, Snickers. Yeah. Tweety and, and Sylvester, you guys did that. Um, I'll give you my Snickers for your Three Musketeers and all that kind of good stuff. So then the big candy swap happens. Okay, so I'm just melting a little bit of butter. Oh, a couple of things I want to mention while my butter's melting. Um, first of all, we've got another big night out coming up. And our big night out um, Wednesday at Curly's was just fabulous. If you missed it, you missed a good time. So once a month, we're picking a, a different local restaurants. Some of them are in Green Bay, Appleton. We've got one coming up in Oshkosh. Well, next month, Tuesday, November 9th, we are headed to the Harbor Fish Market and Grill, and it is going to be just delicious. If you like seafood, you've got to come join us. We're starting out with um, bacon wrap, Nooski's bacon wrap scallops. Then we're moving on to whitefish chowder. Our next course is a wonderful salad, their specialty salad. Then we're doing steak and crab and a flourless chocolate cake, and all of that is paired with different wines. It's going to be a fabulous evening, $50 per person. That's kind of the cool thing, is that these restaurants are going all out and giving us a really great deal. So it's coming up quickly. Talk about it this weekend. Talk to your friends or your coworkers or um, your special someone and see if they want to go with you because it's just a blast. It's Tuesday, November 9th. Okay, so let me get quesadilla number one 
into my pan and I'm going to do some cheese. Now, there's a few different cheeses you could do. Um, I, we're going to, you know, you could certainly do cheddar cheese. I like Monterey Jack cheese in my um, quesadillas. And if you want to kind of crank it up a notch, you could do pepper jack cheese, you know, maybe more for the adults. My kids like it pretty mild, so we're going to stick with the Monterey Jack cheese. And again, then you can have some fun with this too, and you could throw a little shredded chicken on here to beef it up. You could do some ground beef, or you could just do cheese. It's, it's totally up to you. We baked off some boneless, skinless chicken breast just to give a little protein, you know, all that trick-or-treating. And we season them up with a little bit, because we're going with the whole, you know, quesadilla thing, with a little bit of chili powder and... A little bit of cumin so you can just take some of that my kids love chicken quesadilla so you can just throw a little bit of that shredded chicken in the quesadilla it's a great way to use leftover chicken too is I'm, we do a lot of quesadillas and I'm notice I'm not putting the chicken kind of where the eyes are gonna go so that you'll be able to see the cheese you'll get the idea in just a minute okay all right so now we're gonna take the top of this guy just get them on there for a minute we just want to um, crisp up the bottom of that quesadilla just a bit and um, just you know putting it with a little bit of butter just makes those quesadillas oh so yummy one more quick thing we wanted to tell you about I know it's uh, you know not even Halloween yet but we're already starting a contest that we did last year and it was just such a huge hit that we want to get it started early and get all those great recipes we are putting the ultimate Thanksgiving dinner together and we need your help here's what you need to do if you are in charge of dessert every year maybe you make an amazing pie or cranberry dessert or something like that or maybe you're the one in charge of some of the sides you know other than the, the old standard the green bean casserole which I do happen to love but maybe you do something really different what about the main course how do you do your turkey what makes your turkey so special or maybe you do ham or maybe you do lasagna or Cornish game hens do you smoke your turkey how do you do it uh, we want to know about it what about the stuffing it's my favorite part of Thanksgiving. How do you do your stuffing? So get us those recipes. Go to fox11online.com, click on the living tab, and then you'll see a, a little box there that says the ultimate Thanksgiving dinner. Click on that, fill out the information, get us those recipes. You can also send us the recipes in the mail, and you could come on the show to cook with me. You also um, could win a chance at some great prizes. We're giving away some great stuff, including a dining room set, and some gift cards to Cook's Corner. Okay, so we've got quesadilla number one. Go on here, and I'm just going to use a spatula to get this onto a baking sheet, and we're going to finish it off in the oven just so that the top of the cheese gets all melty and wonderful. So you can just throw it under the broiler for a couple minutes or even bake it for a couple of minutes. Just leave that here. Thanks, Ann. Appreciate that. Oh, you're, Ann? Yeah, exactly. Excuse me. Met Sylvester. Okay, so into the oven this goes. And I just want to show you how cute they turn out. The cheese gets all melty, and then the quesadillas just get a little bit crisp. Aren't they adorable? Okay, and then I like to serve this, like I say, with some chili, just for dunking. But you don't have to, or my kids love tomato soup. Yum. Something fun to go home to after all that trick-or-treating, that's for sure. Okay, so there you go. We're going to get our little quesadilla on there. I'm looking for my... There we go. And aren't these cute? These jack-o'-lantern quesadillas. You can also serve these with, you know, a little bit of guacamole, some sour cream, some salsa. They're just adorable. Something fun and different for, you know your Halloween party or after trick-or-treat. Recipes on our website. You can also pick it up at any Festival Foods. Super cute, almost too cute that you don't want to eat them, but we will, trust me.